Hello everyone, my name is Bedu Chris and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to create a 3D urban model using Dribble in 3D Flux. Okay, so we'll be using um, the perspective mode so we might enlarge it. Uh, start by using the plane. Um, a massive uh, uh, some sort of kind of city. change its size by increasing it uh, here we go. and then uh, so what we'll do uh, we'll start drawing streets so how we do that we go to uh, the shapes uh, select spines go to line uh, make sure we enable the uh, enable in render, we tick enable in render, enable, tick enable the viewport, which is here, and then uh, make sure we select uh, rectangular, uh, and then uh, make sure the BG is checked on. So from here we'll start drawing our, our streets. Uh, To end the street, just make sure you press escape, escape, and then uh, it will start. Uh, it will stop drawing the line, so that we can start drawing another line. Uh, same goes for here. Some random shapes here, and then uh, we'll be having some of the. We can put one of the major roots. Here. This is um, this is our our words in the city. So just to distinguish what's going on, uh, uh, I'll try to uh, make it much more uh, wider. So maybe we'll leave it as two is fine, but the big the, the the main streets I'll make it bigger. I'll put it maybe five. Is bigger. This one, which is sort of highest, and those are substrates. And um, from here, what we'll do, we'll just um, so you take um, this one, and then we'll convert it to edit table poly. streets which is here here this one this one so, here we go. so uh, we have the streets ready and uh, so how are we gonna subtract it from the plane uh, we just simply need to to click on the plane uh, if we go to the modifier uh, we go to the uh, compound objects, uh, make sure we click uh, probability and then uh, from here we'll click uh, subtraction and uh, make sure we enable uh, the cookie and then uh, we'll in, the, in the advanced options uh, we'll be selecting uh, 
make quadrilateral groups. So it's here, and uh, so as soon you have already put all uh, these information, information tick, so you can start picking. Okay, here we go. So we have our our grid ready. So what we'll do from here, uh, as you can see, uh, we, we can't see the, the grid, so you go to the default setting, go to edge faces, and you'll see uh, all these uh, grids are here. So now we have uh, let's have our grids, so what we'll do, uh, just uh, select and then uh, you right click you, you convert it to you convert uh, the plane to editable poly make sure you select the polygon and uh, from the polygon you scroll down go to insert uh, you just click on this uh, you just click on insert and what you need to do you just need to select the whole uh, selection of the grid and then click uh, on the small box next to the insert button uh, if you scroll in uh, you can select this one by polygon as you can see with the changes uh, you can also make the polygons grow bigger put a bigger number as you can see the changes i'll leave it to one looks very good and then uh, once we're happy with whatever we achieved so far we go to the modifier list we'll go to we'll look for wiggle there you go and now you, you see uh, we got our city ready there's some bits and pieces which is going on, which is going to we will fix it shortly. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video.